Hi everyone, this video is going to go over how to install and use the RF and Sheet Premium Report. At this point, if you have not yet installed your copy of the RF and Sheet, please go ahead and do that now because the Premium Report installs into your copy of the RF and Sheet, so you'll need to have that done. When you purchase the RF and Sheet Premium Report, you will get a uh, order confirmation from Raw, Fed, and Nerdy that includes a link to this Google group. If you click on that Google group, you will come here um, and um, really the only message is this link to view the master copy of the premium report. If you go ahead and open it, um, again, you'll come to a page of instructions on how to install it and you'll see that it's also view only. It, this is the master copy that everyone has access to. So again, you won't be able to edit it. Um, and so what you'll need to do is copy these two tabs into your copy of the RFN sheet. So the way that you can do that is you click on it, select copy to existing spreadsheet. This is going to pop up a window of your Google Drive so you can go ahead and search for it, type in the name of your Ivan sheet, or if you have it open, you can go ahead and copy the, um, the web link of it and then it will populate into your Ivan sheet. So if you go here, you can see it popped up right here at the end. And you're actually going to go ahead and remove the phrase copy of in the price database before you copy over the premium report. This is important and you do want to do it in this order. So if we go back to the master copy, we can now copy the premium report over and we're going to do it in the exact same way. So I'm going to paste my web address here and then it's going to copy over at the very end here. And then I can delete the copy of and then um, that's it. So that is all of installation um, and you should now be able to use your premium report. I'm going to go over the features of the premium report first and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the price database. So just broad strokes here to review the premium report. There is a um, there is space for three different recipes. So one, two and three, and that will populate into these ingredient lists here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of recipes so you can see what that looks like. So um, the first black box is the ingredient list of the first recipe. The next one is the nutritional analysis of the first recipe. And then we come across the ingredient list and the nutritional analysis for the second recipe. And then so on for the third recipe. At the end here, there is a shopping list. I'm going to go over this um, more in depth later once we've played around with some of the settings, uh, but the shopping list is at the very end here. In the middle section, that's mostly blank, there is a section for changing the units. So imperial, so US units or metric, so grams and kilograms, um, and the ingredient categories. So these are the categories here and you can change them, rename them to whatever you want. So if you want this to say ground, cooked, supplements, and daily, you can go ahead and change all of that. Um, or you can use none of the categories and you can just have everything in one big list here um, and that'll go under um, uncategorized. On the right here in these orange boxes is a section for the three recipes, so one, two, and three. And this includes your ingredient list for that recipe. And then you can now categorize it and select a raw version. So starting with the first one, we're going to go ahead and categorize it. These three are raw ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and put raw for here. Oatmeal is cooked. And then the next two are supplements. When you do that and you go back to the ingredient list, you can see that everything went from uncategorized to under these three categories. And um, now your ingredients are organized in different sections for you to prep. So if you um, plan on doing all your cooked foods the day prior to meal prep, now you have all the list of ingredients that need to be cooked. You have all your supplements in one list for your supplement mix. Um, and you can even make two different raw sections. So for example, if you have a raw section that's going to be ground or chunked, you can do that. And fresh or daily, um, I like to use that for any ingredients I plan on feeding that day, such as soft gels, eggs, stuff like that. That way I don't have to worry about it for my batch prep. Um, over here, you can also change the number of days. So per day and per batch right now is the same because it's the same number of, it's just one day. But if I change this to seven days, you, sh whoop, you should be able to see that it goes from, you know, 3.5 ounces of chicken breast per day to 1.5 pounds per batch. 
Um, the raw estimate over here, um, I will cover that in just a second. And then as well as the um, cost per batch that we haven't covered that yet. Once you go past um, a certain point, so if you're storing for a long time, this section for the additional vitamin vitamin E will also populate. So this is the additional vitamin E that you should mix into your batch if you're storing for a long time. This acts as a natural preservative to prevent oxidation. Um, this is most important, again, if you're storing for a long time and for ground meats. If everything you have is in chunks, um, you likely won't see very much oxidation at all, so you may not need this additional vitamin E. If you go down here, it's an recipe analysis, um, and you can see things, and this is fairly standard, um, similar to the regular RFN sheet report. So the requirements can come in percentages or in the absolute amounts of the requirements that you need. So you can toggle between the two. Um, up here, there is some information about the recipe, such as the total weight of the recipe per day and the calories per ounce or per gram if you select uh, metric units, and then a little bit more information about the type of pet it's formulated for. Now, um, to cover the raw estimates in this recipe, we're actually going to be looking at recipe number two, the beef and pork recipe. So the first ingredient, ground beef, is raw. The second ingredient, which is pork chop, is cooked. And then um, we've got raw chicken liver, and then cooked turkey liver, cooked sweet potato, and then the rest of them are supplements. So I'm going to go ahead and categorize all those now. And when we scroll down to recipe number two, you can see that they're all in their own little categories. And so for these ingredients right here, the cooked ingredients, we're going to enter in the raw version of the ingredients so we can see that the raw version of the estimate is different. So when you go here to the pork loin chop, I'm going to put in the same version of the ingredient, just raw. So this is pork top loin chop, and then this is pork top loin chop. Um, and then for the turkey liver, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put in the raw version of turkey liver. And then um, there's no raw version of sweet potato yet, but you can enter that from the USDA food database. And you may have to do that for a lot of grains. Um, and then when you go down here, you can see that now the pork top loin chop says almost 9 ounces for raw estimates. So you go from 7 ounces of the cooked version to 9 ounces of the raw version. So this tells you how much of the raw ingredient that you need to get 7 ounces of the cooked ingredient. Um, there are a couple of key factors here that you want to note is that these estimations are based on the caloric difference. So this is the most important thing to note when you are looking at meats with the fat trimmed off or with the fat on. So for example, if you want to get the raw estimate of pork loin chop with the fat on, but then you plan on feeding it lean, um, this is not going to be a good estimation for you because it's going to really underestimate the amount of pork top loin chop that you're going to need um, to get the raw version or overestimate it if you're going in the other direction. So make sure that the fat content in terms of fat on or fat off or for poultry skin on or skin off is the same for your cooked version and then your raw version. This also um, populates down here in the shopping list as well. So if you check this little box that says ingredient quantities based on raw ingredients, it actually puts the raw version of the ingredient in your shopping list. And when you uncheck mark that, you can see the pork loin chop goes back to the cooked version. So you need seven ounces of the cooked. But then when you're at the grocery store, you don't really want to know how much of the cooked version you want. You can go ahead and check mark that and then you'll be able to see how much of the raw ingredient you need. The shopping list does also combine ingredients from all three recipes. So if you use chicken liver in every single recipe, the total amount listed here will be the total amount for all of the recipes. So that is what the raw version of the ingredient means. Um, and then that's recipe three, which we won't fill out quite yet. And then um, the last column in your ingredient list here is your cost per batch. So in order to do that, you do have to fill out the costs um, or the prices of everything in your price database. So let's go ahead and fill in for chicken breast here, which was the first one. So I'm gonna put in that it's $2 per pound. If you're in um, not in the US, so you can put per kilogram, or for supplements, you can put per serving size. Um, and that serving size is what is listed in the food database. So for example, 
Um, if you have now calcium carbonate, um, this is per gram and that's the serving size as listed in the food database. So you would actually need to put in the price per gram. Um, or if you have something like soft gels, um, then you'll need to put in the serving size per soft gel. Um, once you do that and you go back to the premium report, you should see that the price will populate. Um, and that will be for anything that you have added and then it'll add the total cost of the recipe here. And then down in the shopping list, it will populate here as well. And it'll tell you the total cost of the shopping list based on all the prices of the ingredients. That's it for the premium report. If you have any other questions, feel free to post in the RFN, um, RFN sheet. Um, help us support um, post which is pinned in the announcements or you can go ahead and send me an email at jenny at bettersellsnutrition.com.